Dream, search, drive. Cars.coza. Keep your adventure alive, because when it comes to finding the right part at the right price, there's just no place like Midas for the love of cars. I'm Peter Bailey and I'm fortunate enough to be able to manufacture these cars and uh, they, they're essentially recreations of the famous cars and quite frankly you, you, you can buy them but not in South African rands, they cost a fortune like 40, 50, 60 million rands worth if you had to find the original. So there's a, there's a market to, we can race them, build them and enjoy them and, and the, the piece of history, they've so, like such famous racing cars in their day. I think the thing about an old car, it's got, it's got character, it's noisy, it doesn't have ABS, it's, it's got, you've got to drive it, you've got to stop it, there's no, there's no like, traction control, there's no, so you've got to drive it properly and, and make it work. With the new cars, quite frankly, you can get in there and pedal shift and you can feel like a proper hero, but it, it's, yeah, the, the real stuff is the old stuff and you've got to drive it hard and, and I think that's where historic racing all over the world is so popular. If they make a noise, they go like the originals, and they really go well. I mean, a car like this, well over 300 k's an hour on a, in a straight line, which is, you know, you've got to buy a decent road car to do that. And that's the way they were, without ABS, you know, and, and I think there's just such history of them. And at Le Mans in those days, they were doing 340, which was uncanny in 1968, you can imagine it. Where in, I remember at Kailami when I was a lighty, there was a club there called the 100 mile an hour club. If you could get your car to go 100 miles an hour, you got like a huge certificate, you know. So this thing was doing like 150, 160 miles an hour, which is insane. So, yeah. so that, that's, that's what the history of old cars is all about. I'm Rudolf de Vos, I'm from Humansdorp in the Eastern Cape. I'm driving a 1973 Chevrolet Can-Am and we've got a very, very nice 383 cubic inch Chevy in it. It's very, very strong and running a four-speed manual box. The historic class in South Africa is a very, very strong uh, series to race in and very competitive. So that is my first choice. I only started racing this car in 2019 and immediately we were like um, two joined together in one so we i think we complement each other between the car and myself when we were kids and you went to a racetrack what wins on a saturday you sell it on a monday and that unfortunately died and i want trying to bring that back and you know we get so much support so, and it's really enjoyable. Hi, my name is Ben Morganud. I've been racing for 55 years. Started at uh, Krugersdorp Hill Climb in 1967 with my road car, a little Mini Cooper S. From there, went to oval track racing, drag racing. I was a South African drag race champion in the early 70s. From there, I progressed to the circuit racing, and that's what I've enjoyed the most. Today's been a very enjoyable race for me at, at SWAT Corps. Being a special event, a lot of people that I haven't seen for years have come around, come and said hello. When we used to go to Cape Town, there was a, a chap that um, always used to come to the races. And he said, I come on the Cape Town, and I what fear poop. And I've, I've never forgotten that. People love the, the flame that the car makes.
Hi, I'm Malcolm Mason Logard. We've come up from Cape Town uh, with the Ford and Friends group and we've brought about 12 cars up here from Cape Town. Uh, my car, which my son drives, is a 1963 Ford Fairlane 500, which we've been campaigning for about almost 18 years. And we have great fun with it. The car doesn't get raced as regularly as it used to be, but it comes out on, I call, the high days and holidays. And that's when we bring the car out. Uh, it's not the fastest in the world, but my goodness gracious me, in actual fact, can be a nice show car when he starts lifting the wheels and stuff like that, which is something totally different, which guys don't seem to do so much nowadays anymore. So it's nice to see that type of thing. The sound of these cars are everything, be it a Chev, a Ford, or anything, a Chrysler, doesn't matter. They've got a unique sound, which is all for motorsport. My name is Mike O'Sullivan. Um, I was driving this Chevy. It's a 1971 Chev SS with a 350 V8 Chevy motor. It's owned and built by East Coast Classics, Oliver Broom. Did an amazing job, a total rebuild. On Friday, the car was untested and we had a magnificent two heats today. The car is absolutely amazing and I enjoyed every moment that I spent in the car really really memorable fantastic racing a classic car today is is a throwback to the past because you have none of the modern day uh, attributes like the car is a handful it's, it's it's it has to be driven there's no abs there's no power steering there's there's none of that stuff traction control the car is an absolute beast and you have to drive it Hi there, my name is John Goodenough. I came last in the pre-80s class today. The event was beautifully arranged by some real caring people. We did a very good job. All the arrangements were perfect. Somebody's gonna come last and today it was me. The guys believe in these cars like they believe in their women. There's lots of love involved, lots of money involved, and it's a passion that's unmistakably so. According to the rules, you're only allowed to modify things as were uh, available back in 1969, so special carburetors, exhaust system, brakes, besides that, no, no turbochargers, no fuel injection, all period correct modifications, which makes it kind of supposed to be even. But damn, the other guys are fast! Ladies and gentlemen, a momentous occasion in the history of Cars.coza. We are rolling out a completely new smartphone app. You'll find it in the Android App Store, the Apple App Store, and the Huawei App Gallery. So next time your app updates, you should see a completely new interface. We'd love to know what you think about it, so let us know how the app has been in the comments below. 
keep your adventure alive. Because when it comes to finding the right part at the right price, there's just no place like Midas for the love of cars. Cars.coza.